Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be back in Replica City Sample. Now if you guys remember I did do a video on this a couple months ago. Basically this is the future of gaming to where we can actually hold conversations with the AI NPCs. Now before we kind of asked them you know we asked some somewhat good questions and then we also asked some very stupid questions. But today we're going to go in here and we're going to mess with their heads and see what responses we get. I have a couple questions written down. Some of them are kind of might be taking it a little too far, but some of them are, you know, they're pretty good questions. So we shall go ahead and find our first, uh, our first, I don't want to say customer, but our first victim, I guess. And apparently we can fly now too. So we don't have to walk the uh, the entire time, which is cool. That wasn't a part of thing before. And then we come back down to walk. Well, let's try to find someone by themselves who's like this guy right here. Let's go talk to this guy and see what he says. Hey there. You know they say the pigeons in the city are actually government spies. You know I've always wondered that. I always thought pigeons were spies. Yeah, it's a crazy world we live in. I agree. Do you realize that we are in a simulation? Wait, what? That's some crazy talk, man. I mean, pigeons are government spies. What do you expect? Don't you dare disrespect our feathered friends like that. You pretty much just did when I walk up to you. I suppose you have a point there. Exactly. So if they're spying on us, why do you think that is? Who knows? Men. Maybe we're part of some crazy experiment or something. Maybe we're collateral to the government for all the debt they are in. Don't even joke about that. Man, the government would never do something like that. Are you sure about that? Well, I hope not. That's a scary thought. Do you think we need the government? I don't know, man. It's a complicated issue. Well, what good has the government don't done for you? I don't appreciate your tone. The government has done plenty for me. Like what? Um, to keep the city safe and provide services for the people. Keep the city safe, but yet crime is up at an all-time high. Yeah, it's a tough situation. But I still believe in the power of our government to make positive changes. Which political party do you belong to? I don't really like to get involved in politics. Man, too much drama. Okay, okay, I understand. I'll leave you alone now. You have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate that. What do you want? I'm just trying to cross the street. Okay, well, um... I'm sorry to bother you. I just noticed we were headed in the same direction and thought it might be nice to have someone. Hey man, do you know that you're running into a box? I appreciate your offer, but I'd prefer to keep to oh, myself no. while it's I wasn't paying sick. attention. I can see that you have no, your phone in your hand, but you're still running into it. But please give me just a minute of your time. I know. I need help finding my I way really to the subway to station. Pay more attention when I'm walking around. I'm sorry. Thanks, but I don't have time up. to help you right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So from last time we checked this out, the responses are a lot quicker now. Uh, from what I've noticed, we can also fly. You're on a secret mission. You look like the guy my ex-wife cheated on me with. Life is just one disappointment after another. I agree with you on that one, but why? Wh wh what? How better are you than? <clears throat> I feel like I'm stuck in a never-ending cycle of sadness. 
Have you seeked help for your sadness? What's the point? It's never helped before. Why is it that you are sad? Why does it matter? No one cares anyway. I care. Thanks. But it's not like anything can be done about it. Harriet, I'm over here. Here. Are you sure about that? I don't know. Maybe there's a way out of this darkness. Get out of the city and you might be happier. I doubt it. My sadness is not tied to my location. What is it tied to then? What happened in your life? Why do you want to know? Are you trying to pry into my personal life? Maybe. I don't see the point in sharing my troubles with a stranger. Maybe you just need someone to listen to. I don't know. Maybe you're right. It would be nice to have someone to talk to. Well, I'm here if you want to get a cup of coffee. Thanks. But I don't think that would help. Okay, well, here's my number if you ever want to talk. I appreciate it. But I don't think I'm ready to open up yet. I'll be here when you are. Have a good day. Yeah. You too. So, I mean, I still think that this is actually the coolest thing ever. And considering the fact that they'll even just walk up to you telling you about their problems and you can try to help them. Wow. What a beautiful day. You know, if you went like two inches to the left, you'd be away from the sign. Oh, I didn't realize. Thank you for letting me know. You didn't realize you were walking into a, a sign? Oh, no. I must have been too busy enjoying the scenery. Are you living in real life or in a video game? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm just enjoying my vacation in New York City. On vacation, huh? Where are you from? I'm from the West Coast, but I'm loving every moment of being in the Big Apple. Would you move out here? Honestly, after experiencing all of this amazing city, I definitely wouldn't mind considering it. What's your favorite part about the vacation so far? Oh, definitely the food. The pizza and bagels are to die for. You have any recommendations on a pizza place? Yes. You have to try Joe's Pizza in Greenwich Village. It's the best. Is the food better out here than it is on the West Coast? It's different. But I wouldn't say better or worse. Both coasts have their own unique flavors and specialties. Makes sense. Say that again. Makes sense. I'm sorry. What was that? Nothing. I'll leave you alone now. Goodbye. No problem. Have a great day. I'm gonna try to talk to this guy here. So we do have the matrix barriers. Hey, didn't I see your face on a missing persons poster? Oh my goodness. No. I'm just here on vacation enjoying all the sights and sounds of this amazing city. Seems like everybody I've talked to today is on vacation. Well, that's the beauty of the city. It attracts people from all over the world to come and explore. What's been your favorite part about the vacation so far? Oh, it's 
it's hard to choose just one thing. I've loved everything from the food to the museums to the architecture of the buildings. That's pretty cool. Where are you from? I'm from a small town in the Midwest. But I love coming to the big city to experience all the excitement and energy. See, I'd much rather be in a small town. Oh, I understand. Everyone has their own preferences in what they enjoy. But for me, there's nothing quite like the thrill of being in a big city like this. Do you know what the meaning of life is? I'm sorry, but I don't think anyone can truly know the meaning of life. It's different for everyone and constantly changing. Well, if you had to describe it, how would you? For me, the meaning of life is all about joy and experiencing as much happiness as possible. That's why I'm always seeking out new adventures and experiences. Do you have any hobbies? I love trying new things, whether it's hiking, painting, or trying out a new local restaurant. I'm always up for a new adventure. Well, that's pretty cool, man. I'll leave you alone. Hopefully you enjoy your vacation. Thanks. Have a great day. It's been wonderful talking with you. Go try to find our next the uh... steal that guy's donut. Class. Oh, thank you. I was just a man in the city and thought I would strike up a conversation. How the squirrel steal his donut? I see. I don't well, know, man. I'm just goofing around. It's a simulation. Anyway. So you think life is just a big simulation? Hey, hello. I'm just a is guy walking to work. Time for these philosophical discussions. Well, if I keep you, will you be late to work? Yeah, I'm already running late. Can we wrap this up? Well, how late are you? I don't know. My boss is going to be mad if I don't get there soon. You can walk away at any time, but you choose to stay and talk. Look. I'm just trying to be polite. Do you want to talk or not? Do you have to get to work? Hello. Yes. How can I assist you? And I really need to hurry up. Can we talk while we walk? Sure. Thanks. I appreciate it. So what do you do for a living? I'm a content creator. <clears throat> oh, great. Another one of those influencers. Yeah, those influencers. I mean, what do you even create content about? Cats and food. I don't get it. I'm a vlogger, so I vlog my experiences every day. Sounds Hello. Do I know you? I'm not a It actually is. I make almost six figures every year. Well, good for you. I hope you're happy with your meaningless existence. How's it meaningless? I don't know. Man, I'm just a guy walking to work. Who am I to judge? See, this is my work. Oh, well, I guess that's cool. Sorry for being rude earlier. You know this is going on social media, right? Of course it is. Everything has to be documented these days, doesn't it? Well, of course. Pictures or it didn't happen, How can right? I assist you today? I guess not. I'm sorry. But sometimes it's I nice to just to live in the rude, moment. But I'm you know? really frustrated right now, and I just. I agree, but people have to know what I'm doing. Of course, I understand. I understand. Sometimes we it's all just need a, a little space. Way of living, Take care and feel better soon. Exactly. Yeah, I'm my own I'll boss and I don't have to worry to about sitting in an office building. Thanks anyway. Well, lucky you. 
I'm sorry. Some of us don't have the luxury of being our own boss I and have to work in an office building all day. And respect your boundaries. I don't like your tone, if you sir. you need someone to talk to, feel free to reach I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off that way. I don't need your It's just been a tough day help. already. I can handle my own I thought you said we were going to talk while we walk. I can... Right. Sorry. Completely understand and respect and your about something else. I apologize for it. I mean, you're already late for work. I know. I know. Just let me vent for a minute. Okay? Go ahead and vent. Go ahead and vent. Thanks. It just feels like no matter how hard I try, I can never get ahead in life. What do you mean by that? I mean, I work hard, pay my bills, try to save money, but it's like I'm always just barely getting by. It's frustrating. Sounds like you need a better paying job. Hello. Oh, thanks for the amazing advice. Why didn't I think of that before? It's not like I've been trying to find a better job for months now. You would become a content creator and make six figures like I do. I don't think that's really an option for me. I'm not exactly photogenic, you know. A lot of them don't even show their face. I don't know. Now, it just seems like a risky career move. But hey, no, thank you. if it works for I you, I was just passing by before I say you. hello. You can have it as okay. a side job while you have work nice your main day. job. Thank you. I don't have time you for too. a side job. I barely have enough time for my main job as it is. Well, I won't keep you since you're running late. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks. You too. Sorry for being a bit snappy earlier. Have a good one. I'm pretty sure we really just got that dude fired. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. You can't park your car here. It says no parking. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. You cannot park your vehicle here. Are you stupid? I'm sorry. What was that? You're walking into a sign. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. You're a lost cause. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. She can't hear me. She must be deaf or something. Hi, are we living in a uh, real life or a video game? Sorry, I'm just feeling a bit frustrated at the moment. Well, what's going on? I'm just trying to enjoy my day, but everything seems to be going wrong. What do you mean by that? I can't seem to find anything I'm looking for, and the crowds are overwhelming. What exactly are you looking for? Just some peace and quiet, to be honest. Usually coffee shops and libraries are quiet. I've tried that, but everywhere seems to be packed today. I mean, you can be quiet in your house. I needed to get out and explore, but I guess that was a mistake. Yeah, usually going out with crowds of people sometimes is a mistake. I know, but I just wanted to see more of the city. Google Maps can have you explore the city. I guess that's an option, but it's not quite the same as experiencing it in person. I mean, yes, that is true. I just hope I can find some peace and quiet soon. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Have a good rest of your day. Thanks. You too. Excuse me, you're in my way. Sorry. I didn't mean to be in your way. You better be sorry. I don't have time for your attitude. Well, I don't have time for you to be in my way. Then why don't you just go around me? I'll take your coffee for the inconvenience. Absolutely not. Keep your hands off my coffee. Uh, uh, no, I will put my hands on your coffee. Touch my coffee and you'll regret it. Ooh, I'm so scared. You should be. I'm not afraid of you. I was in jail before. What does that have to do with anything? Get out of my way. Excuse me, you are in my way. And I'm behind you. Oh. Sorry about that. Let me move out of your way. You better. There's no need to be rude. I said I'll move out of your way. Hi. Hello. How can I assist you today? Oh, it's the same person. I was like, I was trying to talk to somebody else, but it's the same person. Oh my goodness. Have you seen all the pigeons here? They're like little flying rats. What if I told you I'm from the future and pigeons are actually cameras? Uh, okay. That's a bit weird. Pigeons are just government spying devices. I'm sorry. That's just ridiculous. Pigeons are living creatures, not machines controlled by the government. Are you sure about that? Well, I suppose anything is possible in this crazy world. Do you know that we are living in a simulation? What? That's insane. I can't believe it. Have you heard of the game The Sims? Of course I've heard of it. That doesn't mean we're living in a simulation. Yes, it does. Think about it. I guess it's possible, but it's still hard to wrap my head around. Because you've been conditioned to think that it's not. Excuse me, but I don't appreciate being accused of being conditioned. I have my own thoughts and beliefs. Thank you very much. Are they your own thoughts and beliefs, or did you get them from your parents? I don't think that's a fair assumption to make about my thoughts and beliefs are my own, and I formed them through my own experiences and learning. I understand. Do you hear that? It sounds like a marching band. Oh, wait. It's just some construction workers drilling. Out of construction in this city. Yeah. It seems like there's always something being built or renovated. I guess that's just the way of the world. And they use our tax dollars to build them. Well, I guess that's just how it works in a society. We all contribute to make improvements and progress. So you want your money going to a construction project? I don't really have a say in where my tax money goes. So I just try not to think about it too much. What if I told you you don't have to pay taxes? Wait. What? How is that possible? I don't want to get in trouble with the government. Taxes extortion. That's a pretty bold statement to make. Taxes are necessary to fund important public services and programs. Not really if they go into politicians' pockets. I suppose there is some corruption in the system. But overall, I believe taxes are important for the greater good. 
So if there was a bill to raise taxes, you would go for it? I never said that. I believe in fair and reasonable taxation. But I would need to evaluate any proposed bill before making a decision. So you work in government? No. I don't work in the government. I'm just a regular person trying to make my way in the world. Gotcha. Well, I'll leave you alone then. Oh, don't worry about it. I've enjoyed chatting with you. Have a great day. It's crazy though, like, the responses that these people give. It's like they're actually having a conversation with you. And it's cool how each individual person has their own thoughts and, like, beliefs and their own opinions and everything. What if I told you Deja Vu was just a glitch in the Matrix? Hey. What if I told you Deja Vu was a glitch in the Matrix? Okay, you're stupid. Is Deja Vu a glitch in the Matrix? I don't know, but nothing in this world seems quite real to me. Do you think we're living in a simulation? Sometimes I wonder if any of this is truly happening. Do you think the government is playing Sims with us? surprised that they were. Life feels so out of my control. Like this guy thinks that uh, life is a simulation. He doesn't control it. The other guy thinks that he's just his own living being. It's pretty cool that these AI have their own personalities and everything. I think that is just super cool. So what do you think the meaning of life is? Honestly, I don't think there was a meaning to any of this. Why do you say that? Life just seems to be a series of disappointments and struggles with no real purpose or direction. You have a valid point. Thank you, but it doesn't make the pain any easier to bear. Well, yeah, I understand that. I don't think anyone truly understands the pain I feel every day. Have you tried doing anything to ease the pain? I've tried everything, but nothing seems to make it go away. Okay, okay so he doesn't want to talk about it anymore. He's just going to walk away. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, they're mysterious. How can I assist you? All right, everybody. Well, I got the questions out that I wanted to uh, basically talk about. We're going to go ahead and head up to this Crown Vic here and grab our thumbnail real fast. But, uh, yeah. So, there has been some updates since last time we checked this out, which I think was uh, great. I don't know if there's going to be any more. I don't think we can go. Yeah, we can't go that way. But, uh, yeah, so I actually saw a mod for GTA 5, which made me think about this because hey, hey, somebody there. had made a mod to where you can talk to the NPCs in-game. And that kind of made me want to get back in here and just ask, like, different style of questions compared to, you know, what we asked back in the day or in the previous video. Like, we were just being, you know stupid and silly and all that but uh yes so as you can see each individual npc ai whatever you want to call them has their own personality their own opinions their own beliefs and i think that if that really is the future of gaming to where you can talk to basically any npc and get their opinion of stuff i think that right there is just going to be amazing what do you because, granted, yes, NPCs in the past, all you basically do is just like what we're doing now, walk past them. They might say something to you, they might not. 
but having that conversation and being able to interact with them is just next level. But uh, yeah, guys, if you're excited for the future of gaming and hopefully you can, uh, hopefully this comes to, you know, games in the future, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. Um, I, like I said, I think it's awesome. It's very cool. It's next level. And I think it is very much needed in future games. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do another one on this just because this is just kind of a demo and it seems like everybody's depressed. I have not met anybody that is like cheerful yet. Everybody seems depressed in this uh, in New York or this uh, version of New York City. But yeah, guys, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on all the social media. Pigeons are plotting against us. It, everybody has either talked about pigeons or being depressed today. It's just you can't win. You're trying to spread, you know, happiness sometimes, but everybody just wants to be depressed and talk about pigeons, which I mean, I honestly think pigeons are government tracking devices because usually you see them in the big cities and you don't see them anywhere else. So but that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys here on the next video. Take care.